Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys to stop buying the dip. Yes, that is correct. Quit listening to everybody out there saying the stock market is on sale. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. That is not what you guys need to be doing right now. So you need to learn some fundamentals of some of these companies because if you're buying the dip on some trash companies that's never gonna recover, then you're basically just throwing your money away. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find some value inside of great companies that you could or could not be getting at a great value right now and the way that we find that is looking at the P.E. ratio. Now, the P.E. ratio basically determines the value of the company, right? So, for instance, I say all the time, only invest inside good quality companies that has not changed fundamentally. Now, it would be smart to invest into Nike if nothing changed about the company. The price pulled back a little bit and you're getting it at a decent value. Compared to investing into Nike that just made a big fundamental change in that company saying we're no longer making athletic products. We're only going to be producing car parts, mufflers, spoilers, windows, things like that. That means the fundamentals of that companies have completely changed. And just because the price pullback, you're not going to say, oh, it's Nike, so I'm going to buy it. No, the fundamentals of the companies have changed. So, so you want to look for pullbacks that will give you a great value when nothing fundamentally has changed about that company. So what does P.E. ratio mean? The P.E. ratio is price per share divided by earnings per share. Now, the price per share is the current market price of that company. And the earnings per share is how much that company has made per share throughout the year or throughout the quarter. So the P.E. ratio actually shows how much the owners, us, the consumers, gets in value. So you want the P.E. ratio to be low. So, for example, if the stock of a company is $100 and their earnings over the last year was at a 10, then you divide 100 by 10 and you have a multiple of 10. The P.E. ratio is 10. And in some sectors, a multiple of 10 would be amazing. But in other sectors, a multiple of 10 would not be so good. So you want to compare your P.E. ratio by sector. Remember, guys, it's all about value. Now, you guys are wondering, how can I find the P.E. ratio? Well, you can find them through any of the brokerages or online. But the one that I use is Webull. And I'm going to show you guys on how to compare it to other sectors in the market. Now, here we are on Webull. All you got to do is hit the search button at the top. Now, one of the companies that I've always wanted to own and add to my portfolio was Yeti. Now, let me show you if we will be getting it at a good value right now. Here we go. Ticker symbol Y-E-T-I. Over the last three months, they're down 17%. And over the last year, they're down 45%. Many starting investors, many young investors would look at this and say, hey, this is us buying Yeti on sale. Look at it. It's such a good company. And they're down 45%. I'm going to throw in thousands of dollars to buy it at this price point at $48.48 because it's already down 45% from the last year, guys. But now if we take a look at the P.E. ratio, all you have to do is hit analysis. Now, if you hit analysis, this is why I love Webull. They have a bunch of data in here that you could scroll through at any time. That's always been updated. You could take a look at that. But right there, it shows that it has a value rate of 3.69%. Not that really good. But if we scroll down to right here at the price per earnings, right? It says price divided by earnings. That is the PE. It is 19.33. That means that mean it has a multiple of 19.3. That means it has a PE ratio of 19.33%. And me knowing for a fact that this is very high high for this sector so even though yeti has pulled back 45 percent over the last year to me i'm still not getting it at a good value because the pe ratio is so high even compared to other companies inside of the sector this is still a high pe ratio and i would not begin as much value because even though if we go back to the charts and look at it over the last five years it has still not reached an all-time low or all-time bottom maybe once yeti pulls all the way back to around the $30 is price point then the PE ratio will drop and then that might be a good time for me to enter but right now even though it pulled back 45% compared to the PE ratio the value of this company is not where I want it to be yet so I'm going to continue to be patient not buy the dip because it's still an overvalued company so I'm going to continue to wait until I can actually go in and buy the dip at a good 
value. So yeah, guys, before I show you some other companies that are at an amazing value right now and some that people are really buying up that are not at an amazing value right now and how to compare PE ratios throughout the sector, I wanna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money deposit one penny that's right just one penny and you'll receive up to six free stocks valued up to nine thousand three hundred dollars with those six free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and use it or you could sell those six free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on that opportunity another brokerage that i use is moomoo right now they have an awesome opportunity you sign up with them deposit just one dollar and you can also receive another six free stocks with those six free stocks once again you could keep them or you could sell them it's literally free money guys do not miss out on those opportunities those are the two best brokerages that i use so far today that gives me updated data all of the time so if you want to check those out those links are going to be in the description so yeah guys let's go ahead and pull up how do i find good valued company all right dreamers here we are on seekingalpha.com if you just go in and type in any ticker symbol at the top that's for instance pull up yeti ticker symbol y-e-t-i and then we're going to go over to the valuation and right there as you guys can see the pe ratio um compared to the sectors the relative grade is a d that means the pe ratio is way higher than other companies like yeti compared in the sector so like i said even though yeti did have a major pullback of 45 percent um compared to the pe ratio you are not getting it at a good value so that is a great example of don't body dip just because a company pulled back is still not at a good value another one would be google g-o-o-g-l and if we hit enter right there google is actually not at a good value right now and it's at a d plus that mean compared to other companies inside of the sector the pe ratio for google is still not good so let's take a look at a company that does have a good pe ratio right now good valuation compared to google and that would be meta meta bam and right there meta has a good valuation of a b minus that mean hey if you're picking up meta it did have a pullback is it at a good value right now yes did they fundamentally change a little some things about the company all major companies do change they are uh, um, investing a lot of money into the metaverse but facebook is going to be around for a while now instagram facebook all of that is going to be around for a very long time so so right now if you was looking at meta aka facebook and was like hey it's been it's been pulling back for a while now it's now a good time to get in but if you're looking at the pe ratio uh you will be getting in at a decent value now let's take a look at one more netflix a lot of you guys been asking me about netflix for the longest so here we are on netflix netflix is at a c it's not the greatest it's not the worst but compared to other um sectors inside the industry it is at a c and if you want to look at other sectors inside the industry you can look at peers so yeah they pull up on um, spotify runner boards live nation other companies inside the sector you can pay to unlock more data and then you can scroll down so right here w bd looks like it might have a pretty good valuation at 13 so let's take a look at wbd now warner bros is at an a minus pe ratio now if you ask me which one would i really invest into for the long haul i think i might invest into netflix even though the valuation is not as good as runner bros i'm looking at the future of these companies and i think netflix could do a lot more than wbd can and there you go dreamers stop buying it dip look at the value of these companies just because a, a decent company pulls back 40 50 percent in a given year does that does not mean that you're still getting it at a good value are you getting it at a better price yes can these prices still pull back some more i think they are but you can always dollar cost average in onto the market that's another strategy that i use um if you're a subscriber to this channel then you already know what dollar cost averaging is if you're not a subscriber go ahead and scroll down and hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine but yeah guys don't just do all of your investing off of value investing just looking at pe ratio sometimes you have to look at the future growth of these companies what are they doing what are they having in the plans who's the ceo of these companies have the ceo grown other companies to multi-billion dollar companies you have to you have to look at a lot of things more than just the pe ratio of these companies um you have to look at the sector that is compared to so you have to look at 
a multiple of things. So if you want to be a part of a great community of traders, check out the Discord link down in the comment section. Um, that'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post my option trades, my swing trades. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their uh, option trades in there every single day. So if you want to be a part of a great community of traders that's trying to be just like you by investing into their sales financially, then go ahead and check out that link down in the comment section. Also, guys, while you're down in the comment section, let me know what stocks have you been picking up at a good value. Let me know down in the comment section. Type out all the companies that you begin in that had a good pullback at a good value. I'd love to see what you guys have to write down now. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.